hey guys, quick note, please don't use anything I'm about to show you to, you know, to legally distribute the assets, pipe the game, whatnot, because we're just modding the game for funsies. And Rooster Teeth, if you want me to take this down, I will take this down right away. That being said, enjoy. What's up, Internet? Dilly Dally here, and I'm going to show you how I go through modding the assets for Ruby Grim Eclipse. G GVK is taking part of the script modding portion, coding part. I'm going for more resource replacement, general texture modification. Alright, so, get to do it. I'm not going to hold your hand through this, I'm going to assume you know how to extract files, extract the folders, know how to get your Steam installation directory. I'm assuming all that because you're modding a game. Alright. Recording. Alright, now, you will need tools. Which tools? Anything that extracts Unity assets. I have some preferred tools right here. We can go over it. Alright, here's my tools. Unity Assets Explorer, uh, Disunity and Assets Bundle Extractor. I mainly use Assets Bundle Extractor because it has it's a really good interface. Easy, not cluttered, and it works really well for me. Unity Assets Explorer, not so much. Yeah, I'm having issues. It says it imports DDS files, but it doesn't seem to be working for me. And that's what I'm stuck on. Alright, so, first things first, you go to your game installation directory, you go to your uh, Ruby GE data folder, and you copy your assets somewhere else. Dot .assets files. If you want to extract sound, you should also copy the dot .resource files and put them in the same directory as your copied dot .assets files. Okay? Now... <laughs> Alright. Okay, so... Right now, let's take a look at my GE. I don't normally have internet, so... Yeah, like, it makes mod, mod testing really hard for me, but... I figured out a way to get pallets into the game. I just can't get the format correct. Yeah, play it. Go for it. So right now, this is my GE. It has mod some mods on it. If it would launch. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, that's my GE right now. It has some mods on it. Oh, refreshing doesn't work? Oh, well. So yeah, you need Assets Extractor. Boom. Launch it. Oh, yeah. Hey there. There's a cockbite, like just cockbite logo, right? Now, if you go back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cockbite logo, right? Uh, Assets model extractor has been launched right over here. We can go. Please check this out. It should be the modified logo, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. That's what that is. And draw on it, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't save. Here's what the original one looks like. What I did in like several previous takes was show you how to modify it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you how to get the file. All right. So you pop it open. You go to where your dot assets are saved. Okay. So these have varying degrees. I know this is for uh, uh Mountain Glen Part Two. This Mountain Glen Part One. And with Forest Part 2 and with Forest Part 1. And this is just for generic storage of most of the assets. So you pop it open, you'll get this, sort through it. Alright, Unity S6 Bundle Extractor can go through things. You can you can extract meshes in the form of .obj's. You can edit using Maya or Blender. I'm Blender because I'm poor. Uh, we got audio clips you can extract using... It, you, here it's a, it has a plugin that lets you extract it to WAV file, but again, you must have the resource file next it, with the assets. All right, you can extract textures. You can extract textures using um, it'll extract it as TGA or PNG. However, however, this is important because it is a game. I'm assuming they mostly use. Uh, DDS files, direct draw surface files, and unfortunately right now Unity Assets Bundle Extractor does not support importing of DDS files. They only can support TGA and PNG right now, which is why I'm stuck, because, okay, right now, Blake, like, for example, let's modify, modify Blake, right? There are two textures 
for Blake's character model, there's a high resolution one, then there's a low resolution one. It took me a while to figure that out. Use the low resolution one because that's the one the game uses to display when you're running it. So you plug in, so you export. You can all right. Let's export it as a Blake one. Yeah. All right. And RT games horizontal. Export. Uh, let's. I'm too lazy to rename it. So if you do multiple, you don't have to name anything. You just have to select the folder. All right. Boom. All right. RT games horizontal one. That's what that looks like. Right. Okay. Now, let's say we want to change it to change it to just games. Just delete everything, right? Yeah. All right. So you'd rename it. You'd save it as TGA or PNG. Uh. Yeah, save it. Surprisingly, the, the file size doesn't really matter for uh, the splash screen. I know some apps crash when the splash screen is completely different. So then you go to plugins, you'd go to edit, load, and you'd find the TGA or PNG file that you want imported as replacement. And see, DXT, DXT5 is a direct uh, DDS uh, texture compression type. So I'm assuming just every game, every texture in this game uses DDS, and unfortunately, Assets Bundle Extractor does not support DDS right now. If I can find a way to get DDS files into here and have it save the assets, we'd be good. So save the assets, uh, save it. You can't save it as the same name as the thing you open, so I always just name it like something else. All right, and go over here. There's our newly modified assets folder. We go to a Ruby GE installation directory. Properties. Book files. There. Crash reports. Yeah, there. It's like there's various forms of um, various forms of dot asset mods I've already had. So, right, so let's see. Cockbite. We copy this over. Ooh, it's a lot slower than usual, probably because I'm recording. Um, yeah. So, I guess, like I was saying, because I can't figure out a way to get DDS into the dot, uh, assets uh, bundle. That's what I'm stuck on. If someone else could help me out, I'm pretty sure we'd have texture mods already. We can, I can modify the textures outside using Maya or Blender just fine. It's just putting it in the game is hard. All right. Now we renamed it uh, Shared Asset Zero. So we back out. We go launch Ruby GE. And it should be the modified splash screen that we just did. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Come on. You don't normally take this long load. Uh, oh. Well. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. What I usually go through is sort by size. Sometimes it just straight up crashes. Uh, yeah, it's... There you go. Another time you need to properly launch it through Steam because you used to be able to just launch it straight from uh, from its uh, installation directory, but now you have to go through Steam. Kind of makes it a hassle, but eh, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I know you can't sync my data. Now it should work. But as I was saying, sorting through this, it's pretty, the texture, the type, like, the organization of this is great, and normally if you want to go, I like it that Yang has the most resources dedicated to her. Um, all right, yeah. Normally you want to go through. Oh, hey, there we go. There's the modified texture. So yeah, that's pretty much how you import a modified texture file 
However, getting it with Blake is a lot more difficult. Like, uh, here we go. Size, right? There's Blake 1, there's Blake 2. Plugins, export TGA, Blake, Orig, original, right? Boom. All right, Blake original. There's her texture file, right there. I've tried variations of this. I've colored things yellow. I've colored the entire thing yellow. And what ends up happening, because it's a TGA file and not a DDS file, because it's a TGA, even though they're practically the same thing, they're just like different alpha layers or something like that. Uh, separate alpha layers, sorry. Even though I can import it, it doesn't work because it's in, because it uses DDS at, for the textures. Like if we go here, then we go to screenshots. Here's what pretty much happens when you. This pretty much what happens when you go um, install a texture for Blake that's completely yellow. It's just a yellow square. This is what ends up happening. Is what you look like. Eh, it, I mean. See, so the fact that I was able to modify it means we found specifically which file to change. It's just we can't go about inputting that change into the .NET Assets bundle. If you, if I could figure it out or someone could please figure that out, that would be great. Yeah, like, so there's Blake. Blake again. Yep. Yep, that's a, that's a different custom color scheme. This is what happens when you either A, leave out the texture completely from the bundle. You just get a white knight suit. Or if you put in a completely white outfit, yeah. If you if you completely leave it out, you get that. And it looks great because she's radiant. <laughs> but yeah, if I can figure out, or someone else could please figure out a way to get DDS into the assets, we have a surefire way to get mo uh, texture mods into the game. All right, that has been my tutorial. Dilly Dally one two three out.